Okay, hello! Welcome to Roast Mortem, Woo! the fucking show! Yeah. I'm Tom! I'm Travis! I am your Cody for this evening. Yeah, I'm like... Thank God oh. you made it back. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's here. Push him, knock we, him down. We thought we lost you for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Mike, where you been? Down the bio, by uh, down the bayou, uh, eating bio. catfish, eating jambalaya on the bayou. <laughs> Got my wisdom teeth taken out last week, but I feel okay. Oh God, he's oh, he's like this now. He came over. He yeah. This isn't a character. I'm, he's I'm fully retarded now. <laughs> we're just oh. going in. I was gonna I'm bringing back the R word. We're gonna, we're gonna say retard a lot. Okay, fair enough. I was oh, gonna man. apologize. I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna get uh, what's no. it rolling with I'm it. I was go- I was no, going to there. apologize for Fuck saying you. the F word in the introduction because I think that that's very childish. Because we've been doing this long enough where I don't need to curse right off the bat. But Mike has just taken the floor. I have missed you so much, uh, Travis. I know you're very important to me. What's going on with you, Travis? <laughs> oh, no. um, I want to know, Mike. What, what, Mike? Where yeah, have you been? What are I you doing? Are you Mike. going to work in a sweatshop or something? Yeah, basically working in a sweatshop. I've been fucking uh, making boxes all day for like the past <laughs> two months. <laughs> Just boxes. Making making boxes. I smell like a U line box, basically. When it comes down to it. Uh good. Wow. <laughs> what else? What else happened? How was your holiday? Oh, season? it was terrible. So I went to the deposit. I've been saving my money like a good boy. Okay. Right. And I go to deposit my checks at the Chase ATM on Christmas Eve. I was like, oh, I got to pay my fucking rent today. And guess what? I was high when I did it. And the ATM said, this this ATM is not taking checks right now. So I deposited four checks in an ATM that doesn't take checks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. So I got, I'm on like customer support with Chase screaming at this lady. It's not even her fault. And I'm like, why are you screaming at? Why are you upset? fucking doing full Karen? Because I was like upset. I was like, I got a fucking rent. Yeah. What they do? They gave me a credit line, but it happened like four days later. Like they gave me, they gave me the amount that I deposited as credit. They're investigating it. How often do you think that happens in California? A lot. Yeah. Wow. A lot of people are stoned in California. They're only stoned. They don't know anything else. They just they're saving up fake money to buy Teslas. Basically. And Mike, we we can see like where the people who listen to our podcast generally come from. Yeah. And it's just a blackout zone on the fucking like East Coast. Blackout West what do you mean? Coast. There's a, it doesn't light up. There's no no one's listening on California because they're all high. They're all high. They, they they don't understand the depth of the show. So, the, Mike, I'm sorry about that. Didn't you also, um, didn't something else happen? You uh, Your wife left you? Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. That was a good Christmas present, honestly. Yeah. Good. Congratulations. Who the kids? Uh, she took them. I don't want those kids. She took the hot tub, though. I'm kind of pissed about that. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pretty mad about that. was the one that. thing I liked. How about the how about the full refrigerator worth of hot dogs you've stored up for twenty years? Sure, I'm gonna have to get me some ballpark franks tonight. You know, restart. Oh no, that took bitch the, took your hot dog. Took fridge. the franks. God, I missed the Brett's, you. the ballparks, and the fucking oh. uh, the snappers. It's all gone. Yeah, what years did you have down there? What years? Yeah, what year hot dog? What year? What do you mean? What year? What, when no, did you vintage. buy them? Vintage hot dogs. Vintage hot dogs. The snappers, those are the ones that are like those are the old ones, right? The snappers. I don't know. Snapback. Did you have a good? Did you have a good like I don't know, like nineteen twelve? A nineteen like hot dog laying around. The kind with the, the where where the mustard palette was still on the hot dog. Okay, he doesn't know. How are the he hot dogs know. that aren't died? Do they make those? God damn it! You can't yes and for shit. <laughs> yeah, he's he's tired. He's he's, he's been tried. doing it. Cody, speaking of yes and, uh-huh. how are you doing? I don't. I'm good. Zwick cut that out. A lot of weird, like, shit happening to me this week, but uh, with family and uh, developing stories are afoot, but it's just like, I am just emotionally and goddamn psychologically exhausted on top of everything. Fucking COVID. Oh, Did somebody COVID. accidentally sit on your Doritos and crack them all, like your dad or, or your brother or something? Is that the Stepped problem? Stepped on my Dorito, popped my Dorito bag. Yeah, you got the spicy Doritos that you like always eat that gives you heartburn, and your brother sat on them. And That's Cody's week. In an orange-like cloud of poof. Wow, well, I mean, vague, but still sad. Even It's not sad, it's just like, it, it, it knows when to pile it on. Right. It's like it always knows when to like pile it on and kick you when you're down, and it's just like, all right, fine, I'll deal with this. I got nothing else to do. I'll deal with this. Of course you don't. You're in Hawaii. 
There's no sun over there. Go to the beach. Um, either I, way, I, I'm sorry to hear you're sun. dealing with that. Travis, my no, man of the hour. My fucking, my, my journal of oh. weeks. What is going on? <laughs> Uh, Dear Diary, this week I ordered two pounds of shrimp, cooked shrimp, and I ate it alone. Did you? Alone? Yeah. I thought my shit was sad. Listen to this. Dude, yeah. I'm just saying that, like, I don't know. I went, I thought that two pounds of shrimp was less than it was, One. but it was actually well, a lot going, of like, shrimp. Are you going, like, pre-cooked weight, or? Oh, no, they were cooked, dude. And I just sat there, and I ate the entire thing, and I started to get warm. I think the <laughs> healing, <laughs> the healing, uh, Bodies of the shrimp had warmed my soul. Oh, good. Um, uh, w- w- warm oh. and tingly. Was it more tingly? In yeah, perhaps there was some the fingers, tingly. the left arm. Was tingly, <laughs> and I noticed that the more shrimp you eat, the more you slur your your voice. Uh, I've been eating too much shrimp my whole life. This yeah. is, guys. I I'll throw it out there. This is one of the sloppiest intros we've ever done. I'm excited to see all of you, especially you, Mike. It's been so long. It's been a while. Fucker. Um, Tom, what'd you do? What? Anything good? Oh, wait, you, Christmas is past, right? It's past, yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. We're so, like in February now, In right? both timelines. Both timelines, yes. <laughs> so we're in February, apparently. Um, so Happy I'm Valentine's 27. I, I've, been, um, I've been doing a lot of research and writing for stuff that I don't need to get into right now. But one thing I, I did want to call attention to and talk to Cody about specifically was I'm a television all show. all fucking... I'm all fucking anticipated. Like, what? 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 You riled my jimmies before the show. About right. This. Okay. So doing? I, at the request of my girlfriend, uh, have begun wasting my life on a uh-huh. show that deserves to not exist. Um, Which one? JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. <laughs> oh, that looks so That's weird. So good. Right? One of those guys. Well, oh now I am. I uh, I have now gone from. What I would have oh. liked to refer to as a man, to uh, a manly or man. Weeb. JoJo's fucking manly as shit, dude. JoJo's not manly as shit. He's built like every every one wants oh, to be built. I every, suppose he doesn't know everyone. He doesn't know everyone. Uh, well, he's. Let's put it this way: we're all gay now. Tom's watching hentai. We're all gay. <laughs> we're watching yeah. men oh. do flex. And 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 use ham ons on each other. And scream. The names oh, of these characters, the so way they speak, the way they oh. speak is like, who wrote this? There's bad English accents. Oh, all it's localization. It's oh. localization. They're all named after musical groups. Yeah, that's because they were thing. bored. It's yeah, like some stoned high school kid was just like, I'm gonna name you Ario Speedwagon. Really? And he's just oh, like, shit. okay, yes. I guess that's the character's name. <laughs> Yes, the character's name is, uh, it's like Ryan E.O. Speedwagon. They thought that was nice. clever. Like and that. then there's a Tom Petty in it. And there's a <laughs> there's an Italian man with a checkered um, top hat from Italy named Baron Zeppeli. Oh, is that Billy Joel? Now, <laughs> and, and he teaches the main character how to use, uh, if you look up the d- direct translation, it's ham on a stick, which is just <laughs> ham on. Yes. <laughs> ham on! Part of sunlight breathing. So ham I remember... On. We put this show on, and this character, Ario Speedwagon, introduces himself in the dumbest Cockney I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, buddy! It's so bad. I I can't believe it. And when he does it, I'm like, oh my god, Cody told me about this years ago. And I brushed it off, and I thought it wasn't important. But now, now I realize, if you want to waste your life, if you want something, if you want something else... If you want a void filled, baby... Yes, exactly. If you want to cram your empty hole with something. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I just, that show makes me nervous when I look at it. <laughs> what does the main That's... character look like? Here, Here I'll pull, I'll pull him up for you. Is he muscular? I'm going to pull it hey, up for oh, you. Don't spoil, don't spoil anything. No, I won't, so. but I'm just, um, yeah, Zwick, you can clean this up a bit. Oh, my God. Um, it's such, it's such a good, like like, that's, that's him right there. It's such a good show. His hair is sometimes brown, sometimes it's blue. But uh, either way, hmm? Cody, um, I was thinking of you oh, yeah? because it is just word diarrhea. They just write the longest <laughs> sentences. Ever. It's so cool. Like it's they not give, cool. It's, for, it's like, not the cool. Ti- it's, oh, they give them the time they need to be cool and muscular and flex <laughs> and oil up between takes. Yeah, th- there is a lot of that. It's um. <laughs> so look, if you want to waste some time, Cody, I'm Slightly I'm in. Rise, I'm not happy whatever. with myself, but I'm in. So if you want to meet me there. 
Let's oh, do wait. it. We should probably move on with the show now. We've been rolling for a little while. Is that the anime where the guy's hair is a superpower? No, that's different. No. Although I wouldn't be surprised. I'm only a few episodes in. That was like a wrestling show. I'll take that back. That was a wrestling one. That was from the Bible. That's Samson and Delilah. Yeah. No, it was was anime. I'm like fucking... There was definitely a Bible anime. Yeah, no, it was when Samson and Delilah went up against Macho Man. Macho Man. When Macho Man read that shit, those fucking tablets on the mountain... All right, we have been rolling far too long, and I'm sorry for eating up so much time over this show. I'm freaking out right now. I did three (laughs) lines of Afrin, which is to clear my nose before we go, and sometimes when I clear my nose, I just want to get excited and breathe. Don't you love that? Yeah. Like when the oxygen hits your sinuses? Oh, God. It's like like doing bad drugs. Yeah, yeah. My therapist is like, Cody, you really don't seem like you're afraid to die. And I'm just like, look how open your sinuses get when you're a skeleton. Doesn't that look fucking yeah. amazing? The look Cody, of life. It takes a Cody, lot if, of like the anxiety from death away. Cody, if oh, I shit. wanted to get history in my nostrils, who's on my legs hmm. today? Like Santa's. Weird. Huh. Okay, that's fine. Tonight's subject is the one the only Tom Wow. Is the one the only Thomas Midgley Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah silly name. Yeah. I'm a Midgley boy. Midgley. I am a Midgley. We're call him Midge. We're calling a midge this whole episode, Midgey. so get ready. Mm. Midge. Midge. So a quick rundown of who Thomas Midgley Jr. is. He's a chemical engineer at the turn of the century. Um, the issue is he got this job without having a chemistry degree, which is something you could have done back in the good old days. Like, yes, I'm a chemical engineer. I didn't go for school. Yes, before we were all born and there was this thing uh, called opportunity floating around, uh, you yeah, were able to do those kind of things. Yes. And to, to make up, because T- Midge, Midge here is an idiot. And to make up from, like, he didn't get his degree, he just made up with it from, like, sheer brute force experimentation. Nice. Which is like, that didn't work, add something else into it. That didn't work, put a, put a dash of something else in it. That's until science. it works. Dude, chemistry is fucking easy. You just get a bottle of one thing, and you got a bottle of another thing, and sometimes it makes it better. It's yeah, true. Man. What yeah. is Viagra like made of? Kid? It's two powders. I got an 80 on the Regents in chemistry. Did you? You got yeah. an 80? You Look got one? Guy. I got an 80. Huh. Look at this dude. Uh, oh, Mike, is our, Mike is our resident chemist. Yeah, you guys that's need to know. Barely a big. Does this guy have anything to do with World War One? I think I might know this guy. No. Oh. You you Good. you stop feeling pride immediately. Yep. No. All right. You guys not the rest of the do with mustard. Like you you mustard at all? No. No mustard in there? All right. That's stop. Totally Why is he asking me about mustard? Did you want to know? <laughs> I'm going to say mustard this? gas. Maybe <laughs> no. You know, mustard no, it has gas. nothing to do with mustard gas. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Wait, did he make mustard? Did he actually make, like, brown mustard? Oh, sweet mustard. taint. Right yeah, now. Cody, just keep going. The mustard talk is it's right. it's hard to really tame. Chemical engineer without a Great fucking bone. degree. And he like he liked solving his problems just by doing a lot of experiments instead of taking a like refined and uh knowledgeable approach. He's just like, fuck it. Try everything. Start in the phone like book at A. Go. And he was like that type of guy and he was Balls to the wall. He he was a for what he did, he found solutions. It just he never found the best solutions because that's that's what happens if you have like this school of thought of just like oh. always trying. Oh, well, I think always trying is a very important thing. It was his business called Midgley Solutions? No. Shut up. <laughs> Midgley <laughs> Solutions. But you, you you can bet he was that kid that like mixed shampoo and vinegar and like chugged it to see if he'd get immortal. Just That like was it. me. That was I did that too. I, I mean, to really that's a real yeah. thing. Yeah. So, you know, do that, Mike? I've never done that before. Soap and apple juice, that was me. See, I used to, I remember yeah. when I was in grade school that some, I, I dare people, I'd be like, all right, mix everything together. I really wanted oh. myself a honey bun. And they, everyone would throw in some, some coins, and I'd fucking guzzle whatever they threw in front this of This guy's them. your spirit animal tonight, jo- Travis. Joke I, is on, joke is on them. I got my, their money, in, and I got to eat a honey bun after no. feeling sick. Travis, <laughs> tonight's <laughs> subject is your spirit animal. Tonight's oh, yeah. subject is your spirit animal, and I want you to embrace him. You will know when to harness him. There will come two times in this episode. 
where like you will feel as if you are this subject. All right. Well, we are both men of science, Cody. I would love to hear more about your <laughs> man of science. I want everyone to imagine that tonight's subject is just like Travis. Oh well, that's a great image. That's that's I think if you had to paint a picture, that's probably one of the best pictures you could paint. Uh, handsome, wide, gamer yep. hair. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> you got gamer hair? Yeah, look at that fucking cut. Yeah, dude. Like this that. is everyone is uh, a KD KDO. I didn't know that was called everyone gamer is, hair. Everyone's a headshot. He's actually currently getting fined five dollars a day that he isn't Twitch streaming. Oh shit! Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's a goddamn <laughs> privilege for him to be here. Yeah. So tell so me about MLG. science, good. Tell me about a smart man that knows how to do things and make the world a better place. Thomas Midgley Jr., born May 1889 in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. His father was a steel worker and hobbyist tinkerer, and his maternal grandfather was an inventor on his own right. He invented some kind of fancy saw for one type of wood cutting. Okay. I mean, we don't, we don't know how important that is. You going to judge him? Okay, whatever. He invented a saw? Yeah, man, like a type of saw, you know? You trying to do a dovetail? You trying to chill? You trying to do? You trying to cut a skateboard in half? Yeah, he invented the saw then. Yeah, he invented a saw. Right. Wait, but did he invent the saw um, sound wave? The sawtooth sound wave? No, he didn't yeah. do that. That's just oh, naturally okay. occurring. I don't know about that. <laughs> why, why are you talking about just, things you don't know? About? I just don't know about that, Cody. I don't know, Cody. Apparently, this is how our. Uh, how scientist talks tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? You open a can of worms. You open up Pandora's can of worms, and yes, I'm he here. Did. So he's got inventor's shit in his blood. Well, yes and no. He, you know, he does these blind experiment shotguns, and it works. He's always able to find a better solution, just never the best solution, because he's just mindlessly, like, spamming, like, experiments here and there. He just makes the shit together. Like, this... Sometimes, Mike, like, this approach to thinking works and if you're in the right field. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you're in mathematics, of course. Like, you can always throw something at the equation, and, like, if it ends, like, it'll, it, it could be balanced after you throw something at it. And this is also true in, like, mechanics. You can always add something to a machine, and it'll work better. Yeah. Right. And that's exactly I'll where he it. excelled, and he actually does get a degree in, uh, like, mechanical engineering. Well, that's indubitably uh, true oh. about the pornography industry as well. You can always add another thing to the scene. Yeah. I mean, he's science. He's math right now. He's flesh. He's a little math. He's gamer. <laughs> well. He's everything I want. He's, he is everything you want. He's everything you need. And way more. I like to think yeah. about him is he is the broken clock that is right twice a day. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Wow, yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> That's a good batting average, isn't it, Trev? Yeah. Well, just make sure you ask what time it is the same time every day, and you're good. <laughs> That's good. Just be a clock that screams from the wall. <laughs> hey, bud, you got the time? Yeah. God Do damn the it. opposite of your job. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's go. I want to know so, more. Midge bags his engineering degree, you know, by experimenting and doing all this, you know, making stuff less imperfect. He's like, M the machine don't do this. And Midge would be like, I'm going to add shit to that machine until it do do that. And he was good at that, and it was enough to get his degree. So, boom, mechanical engineering degree for Midge. So he's not entirely uneducated. Where'd he go to college? Uh, Florida? DeVry. Phoenix. <sighs> I hate that I didn't write this down. It, I think it's fucking Ohio. 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 Nice. Nice. College. College of Ohio. Yeah, Cleveland, yeah. the Cleveland Stacked Book Center. <laughs> yeah. So my old Amaratum is that what it's called? Do we call these people boomers? If he was born in 1889? No, no, no. This is 89 would be the Greatest Generation. The Greatest Generation. No, Thank no, it'd be oh, no, 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 no. That's I before. That, I don't even think they have a name. I think that that's like a newfangled thing. D mm, yeah, because the people after the Greatest Generation, we started naming them after the Greatest Generation. When you were oh, able to assemble three toasters a day and and buy a house the size of Montezuma's cock, <laughs> um, yeah, right. That was post World War II. That's those the people. spirit I want. Well, then there's a silent generation. That's after. Oh. Yeah, it was the people who did who weren't honored enough to go fight meaningless wars on our behalf. Well, 
too young. Yeah. The sentiment I want to get is like, this is the optimal time in history where like people were optimists and like whatever like the fucking job title said it wanted, you could just be like, yeah, I do that. And then you get hired and you do the thing you were hired to do and then you'd be good at it. And then suddenly, like, you know, you're, you know, a vice president. Right. You're this the is way it should be. Golden ages. Yeah. Right. Vice president back then, gluing shopping carts together. <laughs> this is useful to yeah. somebody. <laughs> this One is a we'll billion be. dollar idea. Damn, if only I had a time machine. If I had a time machine, I would invest in Enron for fun. Oh, <laughs> what year? <laughs> Take, drain it? No, I would just watch it happen. I'd go, I have a time machine. I'm gonna I'm going to watch a billion dollars crash for fun. Yeah. All your money. People jump out of the building. I have a time machine, Mike. I'll travel back to the year of uh Satan. Ooh. Whatever year oh, that is, and six, I'll reinvest six, six, in six. something else. It's a time machine, Mike. The fun you can have with the time machine. That is true. It, if I was the first day of the year or first day ever. Would you only live in one year over and over again? That would be a fun thing to do with the time machine. Either the year or the year. 420. Yes. Nice. That'd be fun. Well, Back and forth, maybe. Yeah. 420 maybe, might be wrong. Check it out. Maybe you're a snow 69er. Like, you only 69 in the summer. And then you're back in 420 That's for the rest of the year. I like yeah. that. 420 was probably really depressing. It's probably yeah. like dark ages. <laughs> it was right? terrible. Yeah. yeah, I think if I had a time machine, <laughs> I'd probably. I probably. I'd probably give Jeff Bezos uh, crack cocaine when he was two. You're a child murderer. And you hate our future president. You hate Amazon. <laughs> you must hate Amazon. <laughs> so anyway, where was I? Uh, it was it was the optimistic time where if like your your fucking uh, credentials only matched half of a fucking job title, you could still go for it, and sometimes you'd get the job. Was so like, GM man. was looking for something called chemical mechanical engineers, and our boy Midge is just like, hey. I'm a mechanical engineering whiz kid. Don't know too much about chemicals, though. But hey, I bet you I could pick up on it really quickly. So Midge applied for this job of mechanical chemical engineer, was not weeded out of the process, and was hired onto GM as such title. Oh, wow. And just because that was his title, nobody questioned his like background and degrees. That's it's awesome. It's just like, he's a mechanical chemical engineer. Of course... He has a degree in chemistry. Did you see what this guy did in the cafeteria? He took the ketchup. He took the ranch. He put it oh in one God. bottle. He put one bottle. He shook it up and he put it all over his sandwich. Ugh. Travis, his you might be sandwich. to this guy. He made crunch. Yeah, he made crunch, boy, for his <laughs> tongue sandwich at the cafeteria. I, I mean, what is lying if not a form of improv innovation? If if you could get your foot into a door, power to you. Happy 2021. Oh, no. You well, I'm just, the episode. I'm just saying, maybe if they had this boy around, little Midge, then uh, ketchup wouldn't have to be the uh, 57th recipe. It would be know, number one. You know oh, that you Heinz. sound insane. I don't sound That's like That's normal anything. for him. Quit picking on him. <laughs> no, this is a little extra right now. It I is. mean, I'm, I'm, I'll listen, because it's a great show. This show's a great show. It is. Um, I'm just in. trying. I'm trying to teach. Do you think Stop this is it. the first time that position was ever offered to anyone? There's like the first. No, time? there's no. a bunch of them. They're uh, hiring in mass. He sneaks in somehow damn. without half of the required degrees. Sheesh. Sneaky Pete. It's easy back then. Yeah, it man. is, Mike. So Midge is in there. He's just like, all right, <laughs> I gotta be. I gotta be a chemical expert. Here we go. Hope I do well. Wind up, pitch. Yeah, let's see what yeah. happens. Oh, just and for those who are listening, high legs. I don't know if this you mentioned. I don't know if you mentioned this before, but uh, GM stands for General Sal's Motor. Yes. Okay. That's what I was just going to ask. Is this a gen- General Motors? Gender Sal's. Gender yeah. Sal's. Gender Sal's Motors. Great. So he's 1921. Boom. He's suddenly a fucking like overnight chemical engineer, and no one has the audacity to question why. It's Roaring Twenties. Everyone's partying. Everyone's partying. They're just like, yeah, you can be a chemical engineer, even though you went to school for something entirely else, whatever. Uh, Midge was like an eccentric, like, 
fuck in the like workplace in the laboratories so people really couldn't tell if he was just like this daring and confident engineering like whiz kid or just like this lucky caveman that hasn't blown himself up with chemicals just yet I, I, you need both so true you're gonna win either way takes all types it does you've so, seen the geico commercials we need those people to sell car insurance <laughs> yeah not the state Telling us we need to do it. Yeah. You need a caveman. Or a duck. Or a gecko. <laughs> <laughs> or a flow. That's Affleck. You fucked up. <laughs> so the first reason it pays to have an understanding in chemicals before you start experimenting all over the fucking place is you get to skip finding out the hard way which chemical reactions cause a beaker to explode in your face. Mm. You, get, you get to skip that fun experiment. You know what I mean? If you actually had a degree. Yeah. yeah, but where's the fun in that, dude? The fun in that is your face being intact, Travis. I probably heard. I don't know. What do, you, what do you want me to say here? Just saying, though. I mean, like, you get cooler when things blow up. All right. Are we, are we going to say that Midgey here Midge, becomes yes. the fant- phantom of the opera? <laughs> I've never seen that. It's a good movie. So, oh, I thought it was on movie. Broadway. Mitch did not have such uh, fucking schooling behind him, and the beaker fucking explodes in his face, embedding glass into his eyeballs. Oh, that's tight. Oh. Ah. And Midge is just like, oh, God. Oops. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Did on. I do that? Before yeah. the episode rolled, you were like, you might figure out who this guy is in history. And you said not to guess, but I'm going to throw a guess out. Is this guy Stevie Wonder? No. Uh, uh, this is not Stevie Wonder's real name. Then he decided to pick up piano and soul. Yeah, that'd be a curveball of shit. He's, he's, so he's got fucking glass in his eyeballs, and he's like, oh, and he's like, he's, you know, temporarily blinded, and he's like rummaging through like the fucking chemical cabinet in the lab. And he, and he comes to a beaker, and he takes the beaker, and he flushes his eyes out. Like, really quickly, effect, affection, affectionately, effectively lickety-split with the contents of the beaker. Oh, battery acid! Oh! oh mercury. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah! That was a bad one. Ha, 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 to you, you've been dead for quite some time. It's, yeah. uh, it's time for us to laugh now. So uh, now he looks really cool because he's got shiny eyes. I guess. Probably shiny, really glittery eyes. But it eyes. turns out the mercury is dense enough and ultra-viscous enough just to, like, simply... Pop glass out of your eyeballs if you really it with it. Really, yeah, that's why we don't need degrees. Yes, but you're pouring a toxic, heavy metal into your own face. You, you still in don't every day. want to do it. Uh, no, Mike, you can't breathe it in every day, and you can't you breathe like, in toxic get shit it all the time. Fucking Miles was just fucking. Is it really yeah, Mike, clean out glass? You like might that? be the fucking you. You might be the spirit animal of tonight, Mike. Yeah. Does it really clean out your eyes though? It does, like glass because it's, it's, it's really dense, Mike. So glass would float in a really oh, dense liquid yeah, yeah. and like pop it out of your eyeballs. That's amazing. I mean... It is, but you're pouring toxic material into your face. glass in your eyes. Yeah, but what do you want? Do you want to go crazy later, or do you want to see now? <laughs> yeah, see now. See now, guys. See now, then go crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I think that's one of those, like, you're in the heat of the moment. I want to see now. Yeah. 1920s. It was going to get fucked up later on, probably, too. Also, I like this thing. Like, I'm not, like, you know, I I don't think that people should be policed all the time into safety, but certain things make sense. You know, the seatbelt, the helmet, things like that. Goggles. Uh-huh. Was he not wearing goggles? Absolutely not. He's uh, not a pussy. No steampunk He's goggles. He's a manly chemist. I, I <laughs> fuck raw with my eyeballs all the time. <laughs> well, I, I don't wear glasses when I watch pornography. I watch it raw. It's all blurry and shit. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> it's just bad. It's just bad for. Yeah. There's a bright no, screen. Yeah. That's what this, I would say. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, oh, it's so hot. I see John's <laughs> shiny bald head, and that's it. Yeah, I can see the highlights of John Sins' head. <laughs> okay. Mike see, thinks he's Is watching it? censored Japanese porn. <laughs> he's uh, he's porn. just watching an ad. He, he, like, <laughs> My wife's dead. I need sex. <laughs> watching a goddamn ad for, for Ameritrade. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, I do it raw. Okay. We're having too much fun. Continue, Cody. <laughs> no, this is good. And so GM upper management is like, hey, 
Hey, whiz kid, I like the way you uh, use heavy metals to rinse out your eyes from Beaker. <laughs> He's like, we're putting you on a fucking special project. Ooh. We're putting you on the anti-knock laboratory. And anti -knock. for those of you, yeah, anti-knock. For those of you that don't know, like cars of this time, <laughs> their engines just fall apart after a certain while because of rattling and jumping around and just being like a fucking not stable ill-suited thing to vibrate yeah. right well back when they yeah, built them it's back when they built them to last good America. old american-made <sighs> engines this is the, the last uh, 45 minutes i'm assuming this is the before point uh where everyone reminisces slightly after this time of when they built them live they should have Sure. But yeah, an engine is just like, uh, like if you don't know how an engine works, it's just a lot of fire, li little explosions happening. Combustion Little engines. explosions happening the just the perfect way to make a thing go. Right. There's a bunch of pistons. They're all firing off with a little bit of gas and a little bit of that oxygen and a little bit of that spark. So right. an old engine, when they're just getting the idea down, it's going to fall apart in no time. It's new so shit. Yeah. So in comes science, the Guy Fieri of science, right? Ooh, this guy who is just like, Mitch. I don't know, we do a little splash of uh, gas, a little bit of dash yeah, of metal over here. Yeah, buddy, you want to of... know the list of shit he tried, Travis? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> the GM execs are like, Midge, you're on this. Get the motors to stop knocking and, you know, disintegrating because they're knocking so hard. And Midge's like, yay, yeah, I'm on it, boss. <laughs> but that's <laughs> Travis. What, what, Imagine Travis. Yeah, this is Travis. What what the GM upper crust doesn't see is Midge takes an engine home. He tries adding uh, aluminum chloride, camphor, iodine, butter to the engine <laughs> to try to get it to stop knocking around so much. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, it's not working. Oh, Yo, you know what's smooth, though? Butter. That makes sense. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. That thought up. you'd like the butter solution. If you I run like out that. of lube, you just use butter. No, you butter it your cooks toast on the metal too. and it doesn't dampen anything. But it smells delicious. Look, it does. Travis, we're talking about hard metal hitting hard metal. We're not talking about soft flesh hitting almost hard flesh. Yeah, this isn't food. Like, this is not food. Yeah, you you can't just be like butter. On butter. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they always say you gotta use a little elbow grease, but they never mention what the grease is. It's butter. It's not butter because it just burns off and flakes away. Cody, sometimes an orange is an orange. So I mentioned iodine as an anti-knock agent again. This is Midge's dumb, like, experimenting, Arr. spamming for solutions that actually sort of pays off, and I fucking hate it. Uh, Midge, like a proper moron, thought, um, excuse me, thought a good anti-knock agent should either be deep red or brown, as so it could absorb more heat. That's not how anything works. Yeah, that isn't how things work. No. I was going to so ask. Midge was that. the idiot that just dyed all of his secret formulas red for some reason. And if you're like, Midge, why are you doing that? He's like, because burn better more hard. <laughs> ah. That's what I would have thought. Add, make it redder. It'll do better. Shut <laughs> up. Watch it. Shut, shut, shut up and watch it. It'll, it'll, go, it'll do better than yours. Shut up. Fuck is you. that why TNT is red? Yeah. They're blue and it's white. Danger. What are you talking about? No, when you see a little TNT thing is red. It's caution. Oh, that yeah, that means r danger red, but like, I mean, is that thought, why he was that, is that no, why he, he thought, was I don't know, I'm thought, using my scientific brain Cody here. I mean, he's like, "Oh, TNT explodes, uh, it should probably be red then." No, he thought because fire red if make fuel same color as fire, fire go into fuel more easier. Makes sense to me. No, shut anything. up. That's not how that works. Fuck you. I don't, Fuck you too, Mike. Uh -huh. I'm none the better. Me. I don't know. Prove me wrong. I, it's a miracle that we get this it's podcast out every wrong. week. I don't know how a computer is. All right. I, I get it, but let's go. You gotta make Midge it red. Is Midge is dying all of his anti-knock experiments red because he's a fucking idiot. However, one day, uh, Midge actually runs out of his favorite red dye. He's like, ah. Oh no! The red dye's gone. <laughs> this find is extremely offensive to Mike. Yeah. <laughs> find, find another dark color. <laughs> so Midge is like trying to find something else dark to like dye his batch either dark red or brown. 
He's going through the chemical cabinet and he finds iodine. And he's like, oh, good. And he pours <laughs> the iodine into the mixture. And if you don't know, iodine is this wonder chemical that does all sorts of wacky miracle things when you add it. Sometimes you expect it, sometimes you don't. And miraculously, iodine was the perfect catalyst for what he mixed already into the oh. formula. And it actually turned into a viable anti knock agent. Holy because shit. Because the a- iodine catalyzed something. And Midge is there just like, ah, it worked because I made it browner <laughs> with this <laughs> bottle of idiot nine. Wow. So he no He's pretty smart, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, sounds smart to me. Yeah, smart brain right there. He has Great more money idea. than us. Yeah. He probably he probably does, gentlemen. Or, er. er, you know, at his lifetime, he probably peaked out at what we could never accomplish. Jesus. I'm just saying that this is a smart boy. You better no. make things browner. Ma- no, I'm making do things that. browner doesn't work unilaterally, Travis. Uh, what, do you like that steak pink or you like it brown? Cooked. <laughs> Yeah, brown. I want that shit cooked. Yo, I'm gonna, go, brown cook. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the beach because I'm all pale, and I'll go turn more brown because it uh, looks better. Wow. Yeah. Everything looks better brown. Just put it, make everything brown. <laughs> I got brown stains in my underwear. You don't want your yeah. You don't want your stains in your underwear red. You want them brown. Yeah, He's that's right, not actually. good. It's red. Okay, this yeah. is ridiculous. I mean, I have fun, but come on. Uh, Cody. <laughs> okay, so Midgley tinkered on this fucking, like, anti-knock agent solution for years. He's like, I gotta find out how to do the thing good so cars don't knock and can go long time far. And, and, the, and just so you know, the bar that Midge is trying to beat is something called ethanol. Believe it or not, all the early cars, like, kind of ran off of ethanol, Model T included. So, oh, wow, I never do that. Yeah, the future was kind of pointed to, like, hey, Bless. instead of gas stations, everyone just has a fucking still in their backyard. Make booze. Make fuel for your car. Make, make, make this magical chemical that can also be used as a disinfectant and coolant. And we can drive everywhere. Woo. Ethanol. Gas. Ethanol fuel, right? Cool, right? I mean, I think I remember reading something about some of these bootlegger guys, and they just put their booze right into their car. Wow! Yeah, early cars just, just, just if it made an explosion, you could put it inside of them. But guys, knocking, you gotta get the knocking out. I, I don't want to hear knocking. I, no. I no, want to hear pre. Sh- I want to hear the hum of prehistoric vegetation getting me from my location. Uh, somewhere in Huntington to another place in Huntington. And I want to hear. Yeah. Gah, 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 I don't want to hear. Ga, 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 ga. I want to hear. Ga, da, ga, da. Because I want to <laughs> get there, you know? I want to hear the hum of Elon Musk impregnating his girlfriend every time I start my car. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I can imagine he probably does tantric sex for many days oh, yeah, at yeah. a time. That's where you just stay erect and uh, you don't move that much and you don't come. Yeah, the just Rhino hang out. Pill. Yeah, uh, Steve Jobs was big on that. Really? Just yeah, it's have a, a boner it's a, all the time? Just have a boner and, and stick it in there and just like pray together. Is that pray gas, to, yeah. gas pray station to the pill. science gods that have never once given you anything. I'm, I mean, why do cannonballs in the pool when you go to a sauna and relax? That is true. Fair, okay, fair that's fine. I prefer to cannonball because I'm a man. <laughs> I do a belly flop. Okay. So, Mitch is trying to, like, <laughs> Mitch is trying to, like, beat the oil, uh, not the oil. He's trying to use oil to beat the ethanol. He's like, I gotta beat the, I gotta beat the alcohol users. Right. How come we got 10% thing, wait, ethanol now? We still use that shit? It's an additive. It's My not additive. the main thing okay. of the fuel. The main thing of the fuel is, like, petroleum. It fills but, you up, though. Really? It makes your, your tank it more fuller. It fills you up, and it doesn't, like, take away if you add it in. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like, it gets a little bit more bang for your buck. Ethanol. It also doesn't add much. Ethanol is basically just wasting your time. I thought it, it was bad. I was like, oh, 10% ethanol is going to fuck my shit up or something. You good. can look at it as less pure gasoline, but whatever. And my car is most cars, shit. Most cars are rated to operate like that. So all of automotive industry is on track to go like ethanol. And it's cool. But GM is just like, well, I can't patent ethanol. Can't make money on ethanol. 
we're gonna we're gonna make gross black shit and re- and you put it in your car and it goes just as good as ethanol. And it was true, like oil based shit was better. It's more it's more potent of a kick for like the volume it takes up. But but oil was um, being used for a long time before this. Oh, of course. Yeah, but like this is like cars. Right. Oil is necessary when it's lamps. Not lamps. Back in the like, day, right? No, they uh, when it's like ships uh, and planes because right. you need to cut down on weight on those things. Mm, right. You know what I mean? With a car, you can make it a little bit bigger with a bigger gas tank and burn ethanol. Gotcha. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because if if you know you got stranded in your car, just like go get another, go get like another moonshiners like jug with five X's on it and pour it into your car. You'll be able to get that. It. Would be pretty sick because then if the cops pulled you over and they're like, "What's that smell?" and I'm like, ah, "My car, idiot." What yeah. you, I, I haven't seen one of these before. It's called a car, yeah, you stupid dumbass. And then you'd laugh and laugh and laugh while some hideous rapes were being committed right around the corner. And the cops are basically just as useful then as they are now. Uh, yeah. yeah. Giving people minor traffic infractions while people are getting raped. Yep. Yeah, everyone's always getting a little bit. Tax Stat. dollars at work, baby. Yep. Urgh. So Mitch does it. He makes this like thick, goopy compound and, it, and takes the knockout of engines. And the process isn't just simply distilling alcohol. It's patentable, and that's what GM does, and they patent the process. And then, boom, you know, a little corporate palm greasing, and suddenly you can't buy a car that doesn't run on an oil product. You know, so well, he's you know responsible today. for oil, boys? Yeah, dude. Oh man! And not not just any oil boys, the 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 grand pappy bad boy of oil boys, leaded fuel. Oh. So GM is just like, hey, this is a lot of big pile of money. Would you put in? What's the secret ingredient to the Antonac formula? And because Midge is an idiot, he's like, oh, it's lead. Well, they didn't know that shit back then. They used to put lead in everything, Travis. Yes, they knew shit about that. Like, ancient Romans knew putting lead pipes in a house would kill the fuckers inside eventually. Yeah, so but but they painted our lead houses with lead. They painted their houses with lead up until, like, the 70s. Lead paint. That's yes. Good shit. We should know. But I guess we don't. Like, the ancient Romans figured it out, my friend. Just like, oh, the people inside get really dumb when we make houses with lead in it. Yeah, everyone forgot so, how smart the Romans were, and then America I came guess. along, and we're like, I don't know, maybe we should lead eat everything. lead paint chips. Huh? So yes, Thomas Midgley Jr. is the granddaddy of the granddaddy of potent gas sources, leaded fuel. Wait, you mean all of our friends who are driving around in cars right now as they listen to this owe this man all their gratitude? Yeah. If you want to be that type of contrarian, Tom, I'm not. Yes, I'm not trying this to be. This guy crumb. gives Motorhead's the reason to exist. Ah, uh, dude, Le- Motorhead's fun. Lemmerd was one of the best bass players slash Leonard. singers of yeah. all time. Great, uh, love him. I love that. You hear that, Grease Monkeys? Uh, give yourself a Midge job. You can donate to our Patreon. <laughs> yeah. So, Midge, <laughs> Cody, Midge goes I think out. I think yeah. I've dinged on who this boy is. I'm oh, excited. Okay, good. Uh, time code here. Let's see if Travis <laughs> is right. So Midge is just like, ha ha. Found thing that burns better than ethanol, and it's also patentable. We make money now. And Jim's just like, oh, this is great. What's in it? Lead? Cool. We're still making money. We don't care. But instead of calling it leaded fuel, let's just call it something close to the opposition so they get confused with it. So instead of calling it ethanol, let's just call it ethyl. Oh. Uh. Leaded gasoline was ethyl, to be confused with ethanol gasoline, their competitor. No so shit. It's that type of sneaky marketing shit. Jeez. Huh. And Midge lied, saying, like, there's no other, it doesn't exist, there's no other anti-knock agent. You can't do it. Even though he was someone that invented a new anti-knock agent with that whole idiot brown iodine episode oh he that already counted. fixed the problem then he's like we gotta put lead in it though we now. we need a we need a something that can only be made through a patented process right, right. but like, adding diet adding iodine and brewing your own ethanol that can't be patented 
I need to do something gross to this fuel. And right, he did right. leaded oil and leaded fuel. And here I just want to open it up. Why, why is leaded fuel such a big problem? Why do we got to shake our head at leaded fuel? Mike, as the young one, let us know. What, what, what's the problem with leaded fuel? Uh, can it combust? It all combusts. Let's move if past fuel, that. Fuel let's is say supposed all, to combust. <laughs> Let's say <laughs> all the fuel combusts. Uh, it'll poison yeah. you? I don't know. Fucking yeah. Not good poison yeah, it's you. Not good. Yeah. That sounds about you, right what, to me. What, happen, what happens when you get a little lead poisoning, Mike? Uh, you don't feel so good. Mm. I, I like this. Oh, wait, wait. I think I know. Good. Wait. Doesn't your, like, uh, your limbs fall off or some shit? Something crazy? Limbs falling off. Mm. Uh, Dick falls off. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. Continue sick. with this train of thought. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, your eyes fall out. Teeth riff. fall out. Riff. Keep uh-huh. riffing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Your teeth fall out, right? Doesn't that some crazy shit happen? Could be. Could not be. Who Absolutely knows? could be. It's called a Flint, Michigan makeover. You get really. Gr- you get like that weird <laughs> scaly look to you. <laughs> yeah. That, you yeah, yeah Mike, turn like gray. Makeover. You get that scaly yeah. look. Are you saying aliens Mike knows got what he's leaded? Talking about. Yeah. Keep going. That's why they don't make them in pencils anymore, right? Lead pencils. Yeah, they knocked that out a no, long time no, ago. No, no, no uh, more lead pencils. on the pencils. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Luckily, they were they were graphite before you were born. Diarrhea. I know. Painful diarrhea. diarrhea. Painful that's, diarrhea. That's Painful. On there. Oh, oh, I, am I getting these right? Am I just rambling? You've actually yeah, no. you've you've um, you've gone C all the way down the scantron. I think I and made, somehow pulled off a hundred. <laughs> I think I made a uh, certified uh, genius. Thank you. Yeah, I dude. Think- I think the big moral of the story is that lead is really bad. <laughs> lead is really bad for you because it does this weird thing. Once it touches your skin, your skin breathes it in, too. Oh. Like, human skin is like the sponge to, like, lead for some reason. So it just goes, <gasps> and oh, just eats it up as weird. soon as it touches your skin. It's mm. really fucking unfortunate. Uh, it makes you see things, Mike. So, no, it's your arms shit. might not fall off, but you might see your arms falling off as you're hallucinating. Oh, I need some lead. Fuck. That sounds like fuck. No, but- you don't. <laughs> Tom, stop. That sounds like a good Friday night by yourself. Just eat some lead. He doesn't know where to get lead. All right, but. Go to the pencil oh, factory. They got probably some back stock. It. He doesn't know. I'll just get him high and then. Mike, the pencils. The basement. The pencil check. leads have been made of graphite. <laughs> all right, though, but I also got to. I got to say something here because, like, all right, imagine we're talking about how skin just soaks up lead, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Y- what is your scrotum made out of? Skin. Skin. Uh, cotton candy. It's made out of skin. This is good. Good job, Mike. And you, <laughs> what's on the inside of your scrotum? I always. Get a little panic attack when Tom or Travis says, "Good job, Mike." Yeah. Inside skin is inside. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the the meat, the meat that floats around inside oh, your your meat wallet scrotum. and your scrotum. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the balls. So oh, um, if you could there, imagine, yeah. if you could imagine the Earth as the ball and the scrotum as the ozone, <laughs> leaded fuel is very, very bad for the ozone. This, this is somehow. And this, he got it wrong. I, he, I, he mixed. He knows what's going on and mixed two things up. Did yeah, you know? no, I didn't. I know. No, I, I didn't. You, no, you conflated two things. The the fucking lead is not horrible for the ozone layer. It is horrible for humanity breathing it in all day. I and want to go back in time about thirty five seconds and tell <laughs> everyone to skip thirty five <laughs> seconds forward. Uh, you can put that request in with Zwick. He'll no, 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 it's isn't too late now. Rat. This is a live podcast. Wick only edits for sound treatment. He does not edit yeah. all the time. This is smooth. <laughs> this is live. We do it live all the time. Light goes in the ozone. Leaded gas is t- was terrible for the ozone. Travis, I'm going to say I you, don't think you and Midge are like off. this. Now, yeah. for those of you who can't see my hand, I have made my fingers into a Twizzler. Twizzler. <laughs> Now, Twizzly that's as it you. Gets. The two of you are like this right now. Travis, have- lead is a heavy metal that can't get up in the atmosphere. Cody, just listen to me, because one time when I was in college, there was a hot chick, and she made me sign up for Greenpeace. So I know what I'm talking about. I gave her $25. Ooh. Wait, Travis, remember when we adopted a kid? Oh, yeah, we did adopt we a did kid. We did that, too. We were both drinking <laughs> on the train, and we popped off at t- t- Penn Station. And this this what, what, hot chick was like, "What about this kid?" I'm like, "Well, sure." Tom and I are both dads to a kid somewhere. Yeah, nice. I hope he's doing all right. I yeah, forgot I which account little... he's taking it out of, but it's only like three dollars a month. This oh. is what the world used to be <laughs> ten years ago. This is, you'd be able to give three dollars a month. Uh, he's probably making more money than we do. Probably. Don't they use lead 
for like nuclear power sites and stuff like that to like contain the uh, nuclear s- radiation. Some fissile material decays into lead. Like if you have a bunch of plutonium, Mike, yeah. and you just hold it and wait, yeah, you're gonna die, but it'll turn into lead eventually. Oh, mm. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Enjoy that. Mm-hmm. Don't put it down. It's plutonium. I definitely wouldn't put it down, bro. Plutonium. No. All right, so Cody, what about this lead gas? It's bad. It makes you go insane. It's one of the reasons, like, most people think a huge crime wave happened in, like, the 80s and 90s. Like, they think that was attributed to, like, all this lead being breathed in in the lowest parts of the city. Probably. So, well, like, all right. well, this and like, lead it, and shit. Yeah. Like, you could be one of the. You know, one of those unfortunate people that never touches drugs, but because you sleep as a homeless person in, like, a, like, parking garage, you're just crazy now, and you can't stop it. Well, I mean, that kind of ties into last week's episode with Ben Spock and, like, how those people grew up. And, like, I said, like, I I just, I went, this apartment I live in now, I had to sign a disclosure, like, might have lead paint in the walls. Because, like, they, they painted everything in lead, right. and there was lead in the air, and everyone was going fucking nuts. Right. And, like, back then, you have, excuse me, back then you have all these people eating lead paint or just being around it. Yep, the plates are like enough. that. And if you, like, if you look at, if you look at, uh, historically speaking, the hobo of yesteryear was much more crazy than the hobo of this year. I don't know about oh, that. Oh, my God, yes. I yeah, the that. hobo. I don't know about, I don't know about that. that. Um, the hobo of this year moves to nice, sunny Venice Beach yeah. and takes diarrhea dumps um, in the sand and covers them halfway. That is much better than the hobo of last year, uh, of, of, of yesteryear, moving to Michigan. Yeah. And, and, and shitting so on a knife you know before I mean? stabbing like, children with I it. I thought they rode trains and just raped children. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, I get it. I get the old the old school lead hobo. Yeah, that guy. Before being homeless, with iPhones was a thing. Yeah, before it was being cool. And Urgh. like some people think, like this even like attributed to like those random like bar fights or just brawls that happen sometimes. Scapegoat. Like you'd be at like a diner and someone would be like, uh, I think coriander tastes weird. And then, like, the guy across the bar would be like, you can't talk to my mother like that! <laughs> and they'd just start, like, fighting each other in the diner, and everyone's just like, what the fuck is this about? And the two guys are just fucking out of their minds, like, breathing in lead, because they're probably, like, you know, one's a trucker, and the other one's, like, a grease monkey mechanic. And they're just, like, beating the shit out of each other, and everyone's just like, what's happening? Lead. There's goddamn lead in the gasoline. Right. Like, you watch these old movies, and you're like, how did these people fight over so little? Like, how, how, did, yeah. they, how did they, like, want to get a bloody nose? Like, like somebody, sign up like, for that walks. potentially for, like, the way someone picked up a toothpick. Yeah. Like, somebody <laughs> walks into a bar with a hat, and the bouncer just, like, slugs them across the face. And it's like, no hats. Yeah. Asshole. And, it, like, the main character, like, takes his hats off. So, like, excuse me. I deserved getting hooked in the face for that. <laughs> I have a business idea, guys. Let's have a bunch of test tube babies together. We can mix all of our sperm oh, up because cool. I don't. This isn't an ego no, thing. I, stop it. We'll just we'll just mix all of our sperms <laughs> up. And we'll get some eggs from some Amazonian women, some real tall ones, okay. right? And then we'll start feeding them babies lead, and then we'll sell bouncers. Oh, the bouncers, like yeah. Amazon bouncer. Yeah, we'll get the big ass. You know, like I just want to. I just want to rip your, I don't want, not only are you not allowed to come into this bar because you have a cut off t-shirt, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> 80s that. style. Yeah, or 80s yeah. style. Cut I'm going to, t-shirt. I'm going to lift you up. The lighting's going to be perfect. I'm going to crush your jaw and throw you into a, a motorway that I didn't even realize was there <laughs> just before. Are these kids going to take There's care of me when I'm old? That just yeah. makes sparks. They will take care of you, Mike. That's, oh, that's, yeah. We're, we're going to take the real handsome ones. Oh, and not here. give them lead. And they're going to be ter- caretakers. Oh, fuck it. They're going to be finance bros. Should I be in jail for these ideas? No, nah, you're just speaking your mind. It's okay. Free, free yeah, speech. Always. You know? Thanks. All right, let's continue. So Midge invented this anti knock compound leaded fuel. It was gross. It was horrible. But 
because people back in the day are idiots. Instead of knocking him down and taking away his uh, things, they gave him an award. They gave him the prestigious Nichols Award in 1923 for his uh, forays into anti-knock fuels. So, you yay. get Nichols for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can lick him. Ooh, yay. What was uh, that word you said earlier? Retard? Oh, yeah, retard. Yeah. All right, continue, Cubs. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So he, he, he gets this fucking uh, prize. Uh, but he, he's starting to feel a little down the dumps. He's like, oh, I'm a little wheezy, a little Uh-oh. nauseous. Something's wrong with me. And uh, he, he books off to fucking Miami, and he spends like an extended vacation down there, just quote unquote, clearing his lungs. Coming to the break, to the break of dawn, we are going to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> so, according to Midge, my lungs have been affected, and that is necessary to drop all work and get a large supply of fresh air. Maybe because you're using I lead. Good job, fuck. <laughs> lead poisoning? No. No, Travis, this is affected lung. There's, ah. there's, a, there's a difference between affected lung and lead poisoning. I feel like everyone at the time, I mean, these are adults that run the, the General Motors Corporation. Yes. Right. Yes, but sir. they all yes. they all remind me of babies that are just like, oh, no, the medicine cabinet is open and the baby is sticking a fork in the socket while it's downing Drano and pills. <laughs> that's, so, <laughs> that's so talented of it. Why is yeah, he doing the wrong boy. thing? Good boy. But it's like a man with like a mustache and like a three-piece suit doing it. Top but he's really small. He's still really small. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny babies. Well, they didn't eat as much back then. We all know yeah. that the average height back in uh, 1930s was uh, five foot four, five. four foot four. Five foot five. <laughs> five foot four. <laughs> Isn't that five foot five? I thought it was five foot five. Five foot five. Yeah. yeah see, yeah. that's a very that's a very big misconception when you see the Oompa Loompas. They're actually only one foot tall. Yeah, because that movie was made back when Gene Wilder had, was a young boy. A 40-year-old boy at 4 for 4 4 for 4 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, er, so top yes. hat man, 5 for uh, 5. Uh, <laughs> Midge had a bad case of lead poisoning, as Travis er. pointed out. And he quietly shakes it off in Miami, just like... <laughs> he probably eating all them Cubans if he's anything like me. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's exactly like you, so he's he definitely exactly eating a lot like of Cubans. We, <laughs> ah, yeah. we know that. Well, Midge was able Cuban. to eat his Cubans and luxuriously cure his case of lead poisoning. Your average Joes could not afford such uh, an exorbitant cure. Maybe they should make more money. I don't see Easy. any problems here. No? No? Nope. He's on holiday. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how they after say Midge that. Was, after Midge was promoted to vice president of General Motors Chemical Company, and in 1924, uh, their DuPont leaded gas plant suffered 10 workplace deaths due to toxin exposure. Uh oh. So, this is workers going crazy, fucking ignoring the lights, the warning symbols, and they're turning on the auto maimed to death 9000. That's a bad machine to turn on. Now, right. that one are they trying to cover this up, or they're like, I don't know why he just fell over into the machine? <laughs> do, do you want to know their cover-up, Travis? Yeah. GM stated the men enthusiastically had worked themselves to death, such as a common happenstance working for the General Motors family. Uh, that's dumb, a, dumb grim. fucking working class always killing themselves. Well, okay, so here's what's going on. We have people lying about that here. And then we get destroyed just 40 years after this by Honda and Toyota, companies where the workers actually do that. (laughs) Yeah. Like, here it's like, okay, they died because they loved it. (laughs) And there it's just like, they died because of honor. I buy honor a lot more. Shout out to Toyota. Uh I don't know what else to say to you guys. Yeah, it's weird. I just feel like it's a good excuse because I would believe it if we were in an Eastern country. I want a Toyota sponsorship. Yeah, man. You would look good in an FJ Cruiser. You know what FJ Cruiser Cruiser. stands for? FJ Cruiser? Yeah. You ever seen FJ Cruiser? No, I've never seen FJ Cruiser. They're like those toy SUVs that Toyota sells. 
I got Stands Tacoma for instead. fucking Japan. Yeah. It's a, the, a Fudge Journey cruiser. Can I get a Tacoma? Yeah, you can get a Tacoma. Or, or a Prius. I'd say a Prius. No. I can't get a Prius? <laughs> Just, no. <laughs> I want you to... All right, Cody, cut him off. Cut me off, too. Mike, all these plant workers were clocking out stoned as shit that on was heavy my metals kind of job. and lead. What? That's my kind of job. You, you just want fucking, that job? One day, you just, you just stop showing Mike, up. <laughs> Mike, and the weird thing, the weird thing about heavy metal poisoning is, um, if it's the same poison, which it is, because it's they're all breathing in lead. Yeah, they would experience like this fucking twilight zone effect of Holy seeing shit. the same hallucinations at the same time. Oh, so you guys fucking plant- see that. It's yeah, and the other guy up. would be like, "Oh my god, I fucking do," <laughs> and it would it would escalate. That I would freak like the- me the fuck out. I'd be like, "All right, this is fucking some crazy shit." That'd be a good place to work. Yeah, some good yeah, ass lead. Mm. I think that that all, I think DuPont, that the Dupont plant was renamed to the House of Butterflies once the entire <laughs> staff imagined butterfly swarms like seizing the building. Could you imagine being married to one of those clowns? And you're you just took a hot meatloaf out of the out of the lead powered <laughs> oven, and your husband yeah, comes in and he's got like almost black face on, and he looks like he's about to fall over. His base, his dick is crumbling from the base. <laughs> and you go, "Hey, honey, how was work?" And he goes, "You had to have been there." <laughs> so butterfly. <laughs> I feel like there's one factory you could work in today. And still have that butterfly effect. What? Probably in China. Somewhere. The Sharpie factory. The Sharpie. Imagine fa- working at the Sharpie yeah. factory. Have you getting on oh, point yeah. every yeah, day. Dude. You get those smelly Sharpies. <laughs> yeah. Does that smell oh, good? I can imagine yeah. most of that's automated now in the future. Nope. Oh, yeah, the future robots. of 2020. I just don't Fuck. see women in hairnets putting the caps on themselves. No, I just well, don't to, see that. You have to smell <laughs> it, it to make sure that it's, it works. So that is like, true. You gotta see if it's moist. That right, marker gotta, is moist. Check for moistness. On. Lick the finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taste test the markers. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Can we Please. get Mike business do a cards that tongue. just says, like, official Sharpie taste tester? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this one's dry. I like it. Let's go uh, back to the we're pile. Gonna make, These we're going to make that a shirt. <laughs> Sharpie, Sharpie taste, taste tester. <laughs> yeah, official Sharpie taste tester. <laughs> Mike uh, Reagan, at your service. I'm into official it. Official Sharpie taste tester. How can I do? The red ones taste <laughs> good. It tastes like cherry. Cherry, yeah, cherry flavor reddens. All right, oh. let's keep going. Yeah, so everyone's like, holy shit. Your, your guys are dying in your lead factory. And GM was just like, oh, they died enthusiastically in the line of work. Leave them alone. Besides, we're, we're making a new fancy updated uh, uh, safety guideline minded factory in Jersey called uh, oh, Bayway. Oh, yeah, nice. Bayway, Jersey. It's Bayway, like Jersey. And we all know Jer- plan. We all know Jersey's motto. Safety is number one. <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> yeah. And absolutely, Tom, future predicting, as in the first two months, the new plant suffered exactly five deaths. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. It sounds like music. This sounds uh, like great old American ingenuity. Yep. Oh, yeah. Like a rock. Oh, oh like, a like a rock. Like a lead rock. Like a lead rock. Like a lead rock. Slip that together so it sounds in sync. Yeah, make that work. Uh, so beautiful Jersey Bayway. There's like, oh, new safety place. We're, we, we got it. Five people die in the first two months. Uh, more mass hallucin- hallucinations and hysteria in the pipe. Everyone's seeing fucking shit. Uh, the Bayway plant was nicknamed the Looney Gas Building because like the staff would just stumble out high as a kite and people would just assume they're making like the dentist gas in the building. Because that's how people like like clocked out. Yeah, just like oh, the meatballs are heavy in the boots today, and, <laughs> and they jump into their cars and they be like, oh, I'm driving home. <laughs> so Could you imagine that? Like the like every day, like maybe they're switching off. You know, the the night oh shift is coming God. in when the day crowd's coming out, and the night yeah. shift sees them all laughing, and they're like, "What's going on, guys? What's so funny? The is Jeff Dunham in there?" Is yeah. Dennis Leary in there? 
And, they, and they're just laughing. Future. The candy mans are ha, 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 ha. Such hearty chuckles. Jersey chuckles. Ha, ha, oh. Ha, ha. You guys see those butterflies, man? They're fucking talking to you. Right? They are so funny. They are just a like, bunch of little like uh, saying racist jokes like Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Dunham does, which is the funniest part of his bit, to be fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's the puppet's fault. Yeah. Really, Jeff. And then by the time that those people who ask that question go, oh, that's kind of weird. Can't wait to get entertained at work today. By the time it's like 30 minutes into their shift, they're in La La Land, forgetting they even asked the question. And a vicious cycle of day and night shifts, just trading off this bizarre experience of going, yeah, who's in there today? They're like, <laughs> did, did off Dane's the cook bizarre. come in? <laughs> <laughs> they're putting cars together, too, just high as fuck. Or engines, or whatever the fuck's going on? Chemicals. Fuels. They're just, fuel, They're just right. making fuel. Yeah. And they all think that Carrot Top is, is telling them what to do for work. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's crank. Yeah, I don't know. What, what's a prop joke you could put there? It's a podcast. There is no prop joke. Yeah, I don't think Carrot Top has a podcast. I hope it he does. A, it would be a cringy pun. Maybe he would just call movie. himself Mike, and then the rebranding would fall through, and nothing would happen. Adidas. Grr. Mm. So, in response to all of this fucking dying, Midge was like, uh, those men had, as I said earlier, enthusiastically worked themselves to death. A common happenstance when you work for the GM family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to work. Of course, yeah. yeah. And Midge touted how safe, you know, the thing he invented was. It's just like, leaded fuel is safe as all shit. And Midge channeled his middle schooler that would... Eat all the gross things rammed into a milk carton cup. My spirit animal. Your spirit animal, Travis. He was just like, you think this is poisonous? Watch this. And, like, your boy Midge decided to pour lead gasoline all over himself. He's, like, rubbing it on his hands, oh and he's God. just, like, touching his face with it. Uh, wait, he, he, he did this guy dies. Kid. <laughs> he did a YouTube beauty tutorial with leaded gas. He did a YouTube fucking beauty tutorial with leaded gas, Travis, and he like rinses his fucking body with it and he like fucking cracks it open and he breathes it in. He huffs leaded gasoline in front of a podium <laughs> for shit. 60 goddamn straight seconds. Holy fuck. That's a minute, but Travis, as an editor, cons you know 60 seconds is a long time for anything to happen in a row. Straight. Yeah, that's, that's longer than one of those family guy pauses. Yeah, like, fucking Midge is huffing gasoline. It's all over his hands. He's just huffing it for 60 seconds at a press conference. He's getting high at work. And he's, he's like, nothing's wrong with this. And Mitch survived the 60 seconds of huffing and said, if I did that every day, nothing bad would happen to me. Oh, my God. Wow. So is this guy John Wayne? Maybe. Oh. Is he portly? Albert Einstein? He's a little chubs, I feel like, Travis. See, okay, because now you mentioned Jersey. You mentioned consuming things that you shouldn't consume. And I'm thinking about Jersey's own hero, Chris Christie. Bruce Springsteen. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just dousing himself in gasoline, listening to Bruce Springsteen Your on the days. beach during yeah. COVID. I, I am all for it. I'm glad that he's in Jersey. He is in Jersey now, right? Dirty Jersey. Oh, know. yeah. All right, Cody. Cody doesn't know. <laughs> GM's in Jersey, but it's fine. Yeah. Tell us more about this uh, so, portly gentleman. This New Jersey New Jersey officials are, like, looking at this guy huffing, like, you know, a bag of gasoline behind the podium for a minute straight. And they're like, sir, we don't care that you can do this parlor trick. You have to shut down your plant because of toxins and shit. And... And 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 your boy Midge was just like, oh, fine. And he shuts down the fucking, you know, DuPont and fucking uh, Bayway plants. And immediately afterwards has to take a sick leave for a mystery illness. Why? I don't know. I, no, I, it was weird. He was he was hallucinating. He was seeing things. He was nauseous. He had tremors. Yo, it was probably one of the guys at the plant had like a little sick, like a flu or something. Oh, you think, a, you, this, think a stomach virus was going yeah. around the plant? Yeah, he should have wore a mask yeah. and, and told all of his workers to not go to work. Yeah, he probably had the tuna fish at the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. I'll do it to you. 
Uh, mm. Surprise, he got lead poisoning from huffing fucking lead gas for a minute straight behind you, the podium. Cody, you don't know that. I do. Don't know that. I'm Sometimes not going to step do, in between some, this argument. Yeah, no, yeah. Sometimes science takes sacrifices. Sometimes. Do you think, Albert, do you think, um, we did Darwin, but do you think when Darwin was out there in the Galapagos Island watching- Eating of the fucking birds and turtles? Yeah, watching turtles, like, stick their penis inside other turtles slowly. Do you think that he was ever like, oh, I got a bad sunburn. Science hurts sometimes. Because he did. The thing- Yeah. Albert yes. Einstein, Albert. when he was inventing the bomb, was just like, oh, <laughs> oh no, I have radiation on me. I must go take my pants off on Long Island. Uh, yeah. That's science! I mean, Cody, yeah. Travis needs a science class. Um, a little bit. I do, perhaps, myself. Um, uh, you should continue. Travis, yeah, so are you all right? I'm fine. I just think that sure? this man had a bad tuna fish sandwich and Cody's making up fake news. Okay, fake news. So, yeah, the, the well-documented case of lead poisoning <laughs> caused him to get demoted as vice president from uh, General Motors uh, Chemical shame. Company. Mm. It's like, oh, you, you, you blew it, son. You got lead poisoning after inhaling lead. You're an idiot. Uh, we're demoting you. You're not vice president anymore. You're fired to not vice president. Mm. Uh, you you have to go work in our our, our Frigidaire uh, division. So instead of goddamn uh, engines, you're going to be working on refrigerator parts now. Oof! You're 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 fired to fridge parts. Is he Jack Frost? Is he about to fall into a vat of Freon? Yeah, a little bit. You mm. ready? Yes. Yeah. Well, Mike, any questions so far? Um, not really. <laughs> well, fuck you. Okay. Well, I just, I probably know how he's going to die. That's what I'm going to say. You don't. I, you don't, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you don't know me. I can throw curveballs. You remember this moment when I tell you when he died, uh, asshole. Well. Okay. So anyway, he does this whole thing. He's like proving lead is not poisonous. Huffs a bunch of it. Immediately gets lead poisoning, like laughably quick. So quickly, GM is just like. Demoted. Uh, you're off. You're off the case, buddy. You get demoted to refrigerators. Fridge boy. Appliances. Fridge boy. You work for Frigidaire. Make, make, oh. a, cooler, make a cooler refrigerator. Freeman's or better. Air fried, fried rich. Or, what? what? What was that? What did you just say? What did he say? A? Fried rich. He just said fried. Try to get Friedrich try to get him to hit himself. Friedrich, no, he's talking about Friedrich air uh, conditioner. It, it looks like fried rich. Oh, oh okay, yeah. <laughs> no, he's right. He should have said that. <laughs> it, it is superior. Right, I'm just saying. I'd knock you down if you were a little stupider. <laughs> I guess that's fine. <laughs> so, aren't well, Mike? Don't you feel like those are those are good endeavors? Like, hey, man, can you make engines run better and, like, air conditioning's colder? Yeah. Doesn't that sound like a good guy? Sounds like uh, someone I want to be friends with because I love yeah, air conditioners that are cold. Thomas Midgley? Yeah, probably. Probably I mean, that dude, lead. You get high dude, on that lead. A good, good air conditioning on a fucking shit day is, is a lifesaver, you know? You boys know what I that mean, That is right? true. There's nothing yeah. better than fucking Nothing yeah. better than cold sitting air around in air conditioning and huffing gas out of a bag. Yep, that is true. Great American tradition. I might do that later. I'm doing it now. What's your favorite gas to huff, Mike? And what's your uh, home address? You know, I do love the smell of gas. I will say that. Yeah, you're one of those guys. Yeah. It grew like on gasoline. me. Gasoline. I love the smell of gasoline. Definitely grew on me as I became more of a man. Yeah. Perhaps more of a sick person. It's probably because my mom made me pump gas when I was young because she said that she was allergic to it, but that's just a lie. Wow. So she shout out to my aunt Beth. <laughs> sometimes when I'm sometimes when I'm filling my tank, I sprinkle a little in my hand. Get a little drip on you. Th that's yours to do with whatever you want to do. Yeah, with it's my gas. I pay for it. Get yeah, a pee drip on the little tongue. You know, at the yeah. end when you, you're done, bah, 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 bah. dropping uh, it off. It's good stuff. Yeah. Clears the sinuses right up, doesn't that's it, true. Travis? All right, so refrigerator boy. He's a refrigerator boy, and believe it or not, Midge does his fucking Midge thing. And he's like, we got to find something to replace uh, coolants. Go. And Midge is just like, try the goddamn phone book of chemicals. Start at A. Do it. Arsenic. And, uh, goes through A, and then he goes to B. Borax. And then he goes to C. Chloride. Uh, and then he goes to D. Dioxide. And then he goes to E. Ether. Ethanol. 
And then he stops at F. And what's the magical F chemical fart that you think our boys stopped on? Uh, f- flex. Freon. Freon. Uh, yes. Uh, Freon. I thought you were going to say, f- Oops, I thought I gonna say future flex- predicting earlier. Well, I, I was going to say flex seal. I, for the record, I did say oh. Freon before, but I don't like to repeat myself that much unless I'm extremely drunk. Yes, yeah, so Tom was right from all along. Freon. Freon. You, you know what Freon is, Mike? Freon. It's how you make, you, if you get enough Freon, you can make a reverse microwave. Oh, hell yeah. And then. And and you could freeze all your uh, wet liquidy syrup into delicious uh, ice form. You need a license to handle Freon. That's why I can never install. Hell those, no, those you don't, things. motherfucker. Not back then. Back then, yeah, it was pretty wild. It's new. You don't need new shit licenses. People don't like. You don't even name the chemical, and people don't know how to make laws against it. It sounds Boom. cool. I like the name. Freon. Yeah, it's a good chemical. It sounds like Would an evil supervillain, like Freon. Would- yeah, would you invest in a stock called Freon? You'd, you'd Back buy then, that. I would have done it, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Freon makes kick-ass air conditioning, Mike. That's facts. They make kick-ass refrigerators. The splits. All the splits got fr- uh, Freon on them. Those are nice. Ooh, They're quiet. Yeah, baby. Arr. Freon, Freon, Freon. Arr. Slight problem that it, uh, you know, punches a bad dragon-sized hole in the fucking ozone layer, Mike. Yeah, that's true. But that's the only downside. But this We're guy... going to die one day. Fuck it. He doesn't have to worry about it because he's a midgy. And when you're that far away from the ozone layer... <laughs> oh, yeah. <okay. laughs> it doesn't matter. It Tiny never boy, matters. he can't get up there. How does it... You can get up there. Little midgy can get up there. Now, now, that is derogatory. My joke was tasteful. <laughs> Yours is hate speech. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, Freon just slays the goddamn ozone layer. The ozone layer is the goddamn, like, gaseous tarp of sunscreen that is built into the Earth. Mike, I don't know if you know about this. Mike, you I ever heard that. of I'm not ozone that retarded. Star- like, come on. Mike, you ever heard of <laughs> ozone stargazing, Mike? Yeah, you just look into the sun for a while. No, 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 no. That's no, not no. what that is. No, 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 Over retarded no, no, no. one. <laughs> 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 Yo, Ozone up. star. Oh, come on, kid. Then like another guess. Shh, shh, shh. shh. Wait, how? Like, when it happened? The it's, a the hole? Ma- it's, a- it's a sexual ma- maneuver. Oh, so, so you're talking about the hole in the sky. So he's not going to get this because this is one that only Travis has been doing exclusively for since we were in high school. Uh, God bless all those women who have somehow survived <laughs> um, <laughs> tremendous pink eye. Yeah, they have really German names for some reason, Travis. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's when you're you're sitting over a woman's face. And then you give them a little sock in the stomach. They're staring at the ozone, and poop. Uh, and then like you a... go to jail for abuse. I thought it was yeah. called dirty sand. <laughs> you belong in jail. You're you're a criminal. Um, Thank you, a Urban Dictionary. TV. But shout out to Olga. She was really nice. Yeah, she was very El- nice. Olga she enjoyed cool that. Too. It was consensual. It's always consensual. That's not how I remember you telling it last time. You told me at uh, one time it was much funnier. Have you really shown on a girl's no- face? Me? Yeah. No. Oh, I that was badass. That that's badass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it takes a lot. I mean, fuck. That's I never like, heard that one before. Well, I've heard oh. it before. I never met anyone that's actually done it. So I'd be like, my name isn't Hans, dude. I can't Don't do worry. That. The people who actually do Mike that kind of stuff, they just run the economy, so and they badass. they're billionaires. You wouldn't meet them anyway. Yeah, you never know. I invested in Dogecoin, you fuckers, so I'll see you all when I'm fucking rich. Could you imagine Mike just b- so rich he's able to pay for a train ticket to New York City and back and shitting on people's faces? Well, I'll see you one day. <laughs> I'll, f- I'll be on Facebook Live doing it. Oh, God. So rich <laughs> in Dogecoin. Facebook Live Premium. Yes. Subscribe. All right, so he's he's using Freon in these reverse microwaves. <laughs> yeah. He's he's the guy that also invented Freon. So like, oh good, that Freon. You know, this okay. is the thing that initially caused global warming. We don't call it global warming anymore. It's climate change. But this is the thing that kicked off the global warming like panic. Wow. Uh, so I have a funny story about an old uh, refrigerator. Travis, I gave you time to share this story. <laughs> oh, built nice. into the script. You <laughs> take as much time as you like. So, so me and my good friend Michael C. He's a good um, guy. 
I was moving out of uh, my childhood house. Oh. And in in the house in the basement, there was like an old refrigerator, like nineteen forties, nineteen thirties. You know, one of those like cool round That's boys cool. that has like the like the you ice pull box? down the lever. Yeah, yeah like a Rocco's Modern Life refrigerator. Yeah. Oh. So we're in the basement, and like we're moving out of this house. I'm like, I want to get this. Like, I just, it's cool. I'm gonna turn it into like something, which I never did because I'm it's lazy. heavy and probably and expensive. It's, yeah. So we move it out. It's been in my basement, and we move it out into the center. And we're like, "Oh, this has a big ass motor on it, like, and it's so heavy. Like, we're not gonna be able to get it off this. I'm not gonna use it as a fridge." So we take a crowbar and we try to crowbar off the motor, just to like lighten the load a little bit. So yeah. it's just the fridge. So we're sitting there, and we're like, Grr! and all of a sudden we just hear. And Mikey and I both like take like three steps back and like look down at the fridge, and we like we look at each other, and all of a sudden the whole basement starts to fill up with what I'm assuming is Freon. Yep. Uh oh. And like you couldn't breathe, like it was so terrible, like it burnt your lungs. You idiot. Oh my god. Yeah, it burnt your lungs. So we like run upstairs and we're like, what do we do? What do we do? And um, I realized that the furnace was on. And I don't know if Freon's flammable. Like, this is a fucking oh, 1930s. Buddy. This is like a 1930s fucking thing. So I'm like, all right, Mikey, I like put like a mask on. And I'm, like, I'm going down there. Don't come in after me. I got to turn the fucking f- thermos or the fucking f- furnace off. I go down there, get up. We call Mikey's dad, who's like a mechanic boy. And we're like, hey, uh, this fridge is, like, leaking something. Is it poisonous? Will it explode? He's like, I don't know, dumbasses. Like, <laughs> Stop breaking shit. So I call my parents, and we're in the process of selling this house. So if it explodes, <laughs> you can't sell the house. Well, you can sell it to someone. <laughs> someone so really the property. fucking value really takes a nosedive at a... At even the the the, the slightest of uh, blown up increment, yeah. Right. So we ended up calling the fire department, and they came. And they put like fans up in the basement, and like hoisted this thing up out of the stair, like up Which the is basement gotta stairs. Gotta be like the better part of a ton. Yeah, and they hoist it up and throw it out in the snow, and they're like. <sighs> Fuck guys, what what are you what are you doing here? Idiots. <laughs> they blocked off the entire street. But the point is, if you ever need to get someone to move something really heavy, call the fire department. <laughs> I'll I'll put that in my moral notes. story. Mental note moral right story. There. I'll I'll do a clap. I remember talking to you Make later that evening. Say hey, what are you doing, man? You're like I'm dying. <laughs> That's what oh you yeah, said. my fucking lungs hurt for like weeks. <laughs> Yeah. Breathing in so much Freon. So well, I'm glad you're alive, Travis. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I, <probably would. laughs> I can take it or leave that. You know, yeah. I <laughs> 2020 has been rough as shit. <laughs> so Huff Freon. gas, not Freon. Moral of the story. Freon, not a great thing to get in your lungs, as Travis mentioned. Uh sounds like Travis, our friend, might have gotten a whiff of uh with uh, Freon and something, because uh, believe it or not, <laughs> gross. Uh, believe it or not, uh, pure Freon is okay to have in your lungs for one or two breaths. Oh, this Be- was way than more than one or two breaths. Oh well, like it the- was filling up the basement, and we didn't know what to do. That could be Freon then. <laughs> yeah, didn't because smell like anything. It just burned. That's the trick. Like, <laughs> oh god. Our, our our guy Midge summoned his like high school uh, inner spirit animal and was just like, "Look, Freon's totally safe." And he starts just doing whippets of Freon, you know, on stage behind a podium, just like, "It's great." <laughs> and he's also he he's he's lighting matches and playing Uh-oh. with uh, candles near an open jet of Freon. It's awesome. It's like, look, it's safe. <laughs> just like play you know I, I assume it's doing something silly to the pitch of his voice because that's what anything other than oxygen does to you but he's just still huffing drugs in front of a podium it's like look how safe this is I can huff it forever real leader material yeah and you know Freon is dangerous not because it's poisonous Mike okay but it you know 
shoots through a fucking hole in the goddamn ozone layer and you know that one time you try and get your mail you know in august without your shirt on you die of leukemia oops yeah Uh it kills you that way indirectly but still really nasty way to go yeah facts so does this guy go <laughs> what, do you, what, get a what do you mean? I'm saying, like, is he close to dying? What's going on here? It's kind no, of like no, Freon, Freon, you can have in your lungs for one or two breaths, but apparently, if it's uh, you stick yourself not, in a basement with a leaking refrigerator and panically, that's uh, not what I'm asking. You know, hyperventilate like our friend Travis here, it becomes a huge issue. Well, I no, never hyperventilate. I'm always calm. Look. That's not what I was asking. What I'm asking is, is this guy's doing whippets of refrigerators um, <laughs> yeah. in front of people yeah, for, for a, a smiling is opportunity. Is that, I don't know how weird it was. I wasn't dude, alive back then. I know GM this. GM is just like, do this with a straight face. We'll give you the band bunny. And he's like channeling his high school inner kid. No, nope. you know who's being dared to drink the expired chocolate milk with like a Twizzler Chocky and peanut milk. butter shoved into it, right? Ew. But also like this, this is what we're we're talking about nineteen nineteen twenties ish. Yeah, this is uh, a time 30s. in America where you would pay half of your life savings to watch a guy walk around on stilts for an hour. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Is this guy going to die because of this, or is he going to get a job on Broadway? Is he going to work? Um, is he going to? Is he and uh, the great Hal Gatsby. Roach going to be writing material together? What's happening? You just wait. We're not there yet. I'm impatient. You're good. You're, you'll enjoy how this. You'll enjoy. You'll enjoy the late game curveball. Then, okay. my friend, Mister Saltman. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, car accident. Midge Call is this it. guy. Very good, sir. <laughs> So Midge is this guy who's fucking like spraying out fucking lead exhaust saying like, oh, you'd never be able to detect it, even if you find it. It's just like, well, that just means your detectors aren't good yet. And if your detectors are human beings screaming, the house is full of butterflies when you when you're just asking them to cover their nine to five, you're not doing a great job. What are the the chances that I hired 150 crazy people? I don't understand who's in this factory. I hired... I I can't believe all these crazy people slipped through the cracks. Fucking Midge questioned the manliness of the workers that kill themselves. (laughs) He's just like, oh, those guys weren't real men. They died because of the lead. Bitches! They they weren't manly enough. Obviously. I I didn't know this company hires bitches. Obviously, massive like, pussies. Betas. Well, what are they thinking? Beta male. Betas. <laughs> Alphas love lead. So, <laughs> Alphids. <laughs> Alphids. So this is like remember all those things were like fucking, uh, you know, global warming was a fucking thing, and everyone was worried about the chlorofluorocarbons that were punching hole in the ozone layer. Right. Uh, you don't need to worry about that now. It's doing good. You can we can actually pat ourselves on the back for that one. We knocked out a weird chemical that we were using for no reason other than because this guy was just like, oh, "Try this now." Like we stopped <laughs> using that chemical, and the ozone layer has been healing. Cool. And it's not gonna it's not gonna kill anyone. So that's actually something we can pat our back pat ourselves on the back for. Good job, humanity. You did it. I did it. Man, did I, it this one time. Ooh. I know all these utility executives who listen to this show are gonna be real happy. <laughs> yeah. So, Mike. Yes. As you can imagine, being the guy that spews lead exhaust and freon into the goddamn atmosphere, this guy is actually in the history books as the most harmful life form in the universe. Really? Yes. Because he invented all this dumb shit, or he like brought <laughs> it to. Because he invented all this shit that like like didn't. It, it wasn't a full-on tackle, but it was a good shove yeah. t- of humanity towards extinction. He indirectly did it, right? Like, or, like, he, like, didn't mean to. Oh, he had no idea what he was doing. Yeah. He was just the guy that's just like, I'm going to try it with lead now. Yeah. I'm going to try it with Freon this time. Right. If you it's safe. If you have a bus with, let's, let's pick a random number, maybe 7.8 billion people on it, and then they, they elect a, uh, a baby to drive the bus. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. I might not go uh, to the destination of the future. 
Or maybe the baby doesn't have different. a chemistry degree. Right. Baby, baby, baby doesn't have a license. Definitely not a class A. Nope. Maybe he's a and sugar we're baby. We're just okay with this, I guess. Mm. Some hot chick that's just I switching don't. off men for money. Yeah. So, Cody, can you take us? Come on, continue with this story. I'm I'm interested. I I get that I'm almost dead because of this guy. I'm get that I I get that I can't have children because of this guy. <laughs> no. You legitimately have to think about this, whether it be in utero or in your like external development. This guy made every life form at some point roll dice. You know what I mean? Just like, oh, is that asthma? Uh, no, okay, you pass. So we pretty much hit the ultimate guy to roast because, like, this guy is a dumbass. He's all he fucked everyone up. He's he invented the peanut made- allergy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, you can think of it like that, but not figuratively or not literally. I mean, yeah, who yeah, knows? Yeah. I mean, it's all the lead. Yeah. He the, made I, I think. all of us roll dice at some point, whether we can exist or not. This is a huge asshole, and he doesn't know it. And instead of like getting like slapped on the face and knocked down and thrown in jail, he's getting bonuses and like awards sometimes though cody with science risk comes reward and the reward is that um we have sick refrigerators and cars that go real fast yeah hard. i like that. yeah we got vroom vrooms and called berbers i just can't believe that humanity was cut short metaphorically by a man who is so short i mean hey that, that is pretty ironic i must say isn't it ironic? where are you from yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay mike Welcome back. My Stretch. Welcome Stretch. back. Where have you been? Okay, Cody, jail. take me on this roller coaster. Let me let me know why. Okay. So, it's the 1930s uh, or it's 1930s and 40s. Idiots don't know shit's going bad. This guy invented horrible things and he needs to be like, you know, bullied instead of like sucked off. So, he's given a bunch of rewards in his twilight le- in his twilight years. Uh he gets the Perkins uh, medal in 1937 from the Society of Chemical Engineering. And he's is the like, Perkin yeah, yeah, yeah. is the Perkins Medal awarded at the Perkins Family Restaurant? Oh, of course, you know. It okay, is. all right. Love all the memorabilia. They have <laughs> okay. stapled to the walls. Shout but out to Pennsylvania, a real estate. <laughs> and he also um, gets the American Chemical Society uh, Priestly Medal, which is like another humongous high honor. In 1942, he gets something called the Willard Gibbs Award. Uh, like, society's jerking him off. Like, oh, he's good with engines and air conditioning. So he pretty much gets all the awards. Does he get the Nobel Peace Prize or whatever? No. Uh, instead of the Nobel Peace Prize, he gets polio. Now ask me how he died. <laughs> oh Ain't that a bitch. All right. So he gets did polio. He bitch, how did he Mike? die? He died because he, he couldn't do it no more. He couldn't do it no more. Sometime in the late 1940s, your boy contracted polio and was entering the later stages of the disease. I, as the later yeah, stages I of the disease, you, you you find it hard to you know get out of chairs and beds. Yeah. He just wanted to be one, he wanted to be one of the cool kids. He wanted to be like that FDR boy. It's like yeah, guess what? Like, my legs don't work, dude. I'm cool. He's a follower. I have a mechanical spider underneath me. Do you guys remember when we were in seventh grade and then uh, roller backpacks were were in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with Healy shoes. What, what are you, seven? What are you, 75? What is this? Yeah. Fucking copycat. Yeah. So that's interesting. So he wants to be cool. So he picks up the polio. Yeah. He does a line of Freon and he goes, so long, f- I'm on my way out. <laughs> Bye, losers. Don't nobody get in. Uh, We're going what? dying. Z- Zwick, <laughs> can you please uh, bleep that gamer word out? <laughs> I'm having too much fun. <laughs> it's fine if you bleep it. Just bleep it out. I, I don't. Anyway, you can leave a bleep in there. Use a signal a generator. Anyway, uh, Mitch Polio. He's like, oh no, this is horrible. And he's like, it sucks getting out of chairs and beds. So I'm gonna make the 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 miracle bed. Ooh. I'm gonna make a bed. That has like all these pulleys and cables, and I'll be able Folds. to like get my ass out of bed by like pulling on these. And these two levers will let me like swivel my ass to the side into the chamber pot so I can like blast a quick deuce. Nice. And he makes this bed, uh, and he like fucking twists weird on it, and it fucking strangles him to death. What? <laughs> Killed by his own invention. 
Yes, Mike, he's a literal Frankenstein inventor who dies at the own hand of his invention. A it strangled him to death? Strappy bed. Yeah, he it's had a him, terrible way to bed. go out. Made a bed with cables and strappies, and he twisted wrong in it. Maybe he, like, fart sneezed weird. You know that feeling, You think right, he was Mike? getting kinky with all those, those fucking ropes and shit? No, his... Yeah, maybe he was, he was jerking it Strangling weird. himself, he's like, all right, this is the best no, shit. No, 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 he twisted weird off of the bed oh. and fell on the pulleys. I really hope oh. that this happens to the creator of my pillow. He's like, oh, no, the pillow fell on my face! <laughs> 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 I, I don't know, dude. Um, I hope that doesn't happen because he seems like a nice guy. Um, I want my pillow. Yeah, I hope he lives forever and gets actually, pillows. I actually don't want to touch one of his pillows because it does it, it. What a terrible, terrible branding thing. My pillow. Why would you want someone else's pillow? Oh, it's just reused pillows. <laughs> that, that just con- yeah. He sleeps on them. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, goes, there's drool on mine. Oh. Ew. He goes to Kmart. He picks up a gross of them and then tosses them around all night. <laughs> <laughs> and then sells them to the next it's guy. All broken yeah, in. Yeah, breaks them in. Brand new pillow. Breaks. So, so Cody, this is my this is my mother's pillow. That's the second product. Yeah, my mother's pillow. This is where we did it. It smells just like it. Mom's real nice. Um, Cody, this guy. Yes, you're telling me this guy. Yeah, he's not even David Carradine, and he strangles himself to death. Oops. What's going on here? That's embarrassing. Yeah. Well, that, oh yeah, polio. Yeah. So I don't really. I mean, I take that back. Well, he's well. You know what, dude? Have you had your shots, Mike. FDR didn't strangle himself with a bed. But he's probably it was probably hard for him to be like, "Oh fuck, I'm strangling myself." I bet you Take his cousin off. did try to do that. Also well, known as saying, his wife. Her. I'm just saying. Sorry. I think it's great that he strangled himself to death because he was strangling the planet. Shout out to Greenpeace.com. Yeah, work. dude. This guy would have his own fucking like two parter on like Captain Planet. It's true. <laughs> He made he made two of the nastiest things to breathe in in history, Mike. All right, he's yeah, doing he's whippets of both of them. Let it let it gasoline and Freon, and he's fine. He killed himself mechanically, which is very oops. ironic. <laughs> Fucking oops! Yeah. I gotta say this whole the whole episode. I gotta take that away from his death. He killed himself mechanically, even though he was right? chemically fucking his asshole up. He had a for degree years. in mechanical engineering. Well, he did it's not <laughs> chemical. <laughs> Apparently, his chemical um, inexperience took him further than his mechanical experience because he hung himself by uh, going to bed, which is a weird one. Yeah, yeah. I thought it'd it would be a very strange lead. death. Yeah, Cody, so, thank there you. you have him. Oh, I'm sorry. I was doing a thing for you. But you All do right. it. I was going to... Sl- uh, uh, there you have him. Er. Thomas Midgley Jr., the daddy of leaded gasoline, the father of Freon, the papa of pollution. He idiotically believed butter would be a machinist's breakthrough. Also, That's not he dumb. Thought- <laughs> Sometimes you not dumb. It. Also, he thought red and brown dye was a must for all motor chemicals. Also not dumb. Isn't that true, though? Aren't they all, like, fucking brown? Yeah, just because they are that does not make it true. I'm going to take Cody's team before he even opens his mouth about that. No, They're dyed red just so you know when there's leaks. No, because how does your body run? Runs off red juice. Uh, All right, you want to justify this, asshole? He splashed mercury in his eyes. Metal. That's smart. (laughs) <laughs> he huffed leaded oil. He Great American pastime. Great party American pastime. <clears throat> we was illegal back then. He did free on whippets near open flames. So have I. So did Steve-O, probably. Yeah, I've actually I've seen Travis do whippets near open flames. I don't know what was in those <laughs> little canisters. I'm assuming not whippets, but... Uh, it was CBD I mean, no. whippets. Don't worry, it was illegal CBD gas station <laughs> gas whippets. Station. Gas station. Yeah, he was just cracking vape pens. It was just yeah. uh, ready whipped cream, empty wet ready whipped cream containers. Yes, mm-hmm. this is amazing. Yeah, okay. uh, so before he could die of chronic toxin exposure, he invented a mechanical monster that killed him uh, with lethal chokehold. So rest in Greece. You should have gotten your chemistry degree, you asshole. Thomas. Yeah, Midgley it's probably burning in hell. Wow. Um, so shout out to all the Midgleys out there for listening to this episode. Fuck you guys. That that was a lot of fun, Cody. And um, Travis, I I don't think you're as smart as this guy. I mean, I can. I, <laughs> I know what I know when I'm beat, dude. I know when I be, no, I'm beat. No, you know? Midgley yeah. was making shit browner. Just yeah, for like, yeah. Right, so 
All right, he might have brown. He might have almost killed the entire human race, but he had some smart ideas like making things brown and red and uh, putting gases in his lungs. For a guy guy who threw a lot of shit at the wall, he certainly doesn't make up for a degree. Well, experiment all you want. It doesn't make up for like the fucking like degree part of understanding like, oh, sodium, uh, like, like, oh, fucking baking soda and vinegar go poof. No, what? Cody, you're absolutely right. All I'm saying is that this guy almost killed a lot of people, but he, he did kill he, many. But, but but maybe maybe he killed himself. He definitely did. Oh, okay. Are you so not that we paying so attention? He, no, he you're right. That's something I just want to point out. He's he invented profession- the thing that killed himself. Yeah, he's so he's he practices what he preaches, which I would like to see more of. Do you think his head was like Swiss his brain was like Swiss cheese from all the lead oh, for young? Oh, he was probably like a weird like color of like black and blue when he was like strangled to death with all those heavy metals in him. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you have a child, open up that cabinet underneath your sink. Let him become the next (laughs) Midgley. It's not superpowers; they're they're handicaps. I don't know, Cody. With great power comes great responsibility. Maybe he got bit by maybe he got bit by a spider that had cocaine in it. Is asthma a great power? Yeah, Cody, that's rude because call me progressive, but I don't think being a midgley is is a handicap. You can't stop that. You've been using that weird all night. (laughs) Oh, retarded. Not retarded. That's different. <laughs> no, I'm Mike just saying, has the pass. I'm just saying this guy's uh, guy, maybe it, this is an edge lord comedy. This is education. Let's get education. on with it. The, 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 for a Midgley, he did a lot. So let's honor this dead man uh who ruined our earth. I love yeah, air conditioning. Stood on though. the shoulders of giants. Yes. And uh Mike, thanks for coming back to the show. You know what? I had to. Yeah. Travis, Been thanks for long. telling me how your week was. And <laughs> that you, Travis. And for surviving this long. Cody, thank you for all this research that you've yeah. done on behalf <laughs> of Thomas Midgley Jr. You guys what? got a lot hotter since I last saw you. You've been Should huffing it. that paint, haven't you? Yeah. Lead on the weekends, you know. Like, the outside world is confused because we went out of order. But on our side of the timeline, this is the first time Mike has been there in like a month and a half. Yeah. Arr. Yeah, it's, we're yeah. making eyeballs at him like you yep. fucking asshole. He <sighs> came back a pervert. Do you hear him doing this breathing? Yeah, he's, Mike is very weird. <laughs> he fucker. He's very, I, I was he huffing paint his... before. I came. All right, guys, enough of this shit. Let's wrap the show up. We had a Why great time. Why do you time. have so many coloring books? <sighs> <sighs> I was, I'm not picking that up from you. <laughs> I promise. Yeah. Okay, thanks for listening to Roast Mortem <laughs> Cast. This has been a, a fantastic episode. Was thanks the website again. fixed yet? Um, no, I don't know. Roastmortemcast.com. That's the website. Patreon.com slash Roastmortemcast. That's Please. where you can give us money directly, uh, provided hey. that we don't keep doing this. Uh, we'll um, get canceled. Zwick, you got to cut out some of those words. Um, thank you. <laughs> Just thanks. We got merch up. We got the... Uh, can you tell us more about the merch, Travis? I didn't get Who's shit on? from you guys. I didn't get any Travis hat, no You have to hat, pay for your get... merch. You're not even here any of you. Sure. Any time. You nothing. don't get anything. You got to show up more. You got to earn that hat. What are you wearing? Or a tanky hat. Oh, I'm wearing Fine. this shirt. I got a little boy here. This has got a, we got a shirt that's got a crest on it. We got a shirt that has a hat with tits. You like and a that? Dick. I do like that. You like yeah, that yeah. audio only podcast? We've we've got a we've got a shirt that says Jesus is the ultimate fluffer <laughs> or God is. The I didn't get any fluffer. of that this, for this Christmas. What do you mean? Did you buy one, cocksucker? I did, and my payment didn't go through because it was a clown. Oh, yeah, because it went through the fucking ATM. <laughs> yeah. You shredded it. You, <laughs> you gave didn't the have twelve dollars. All right, thanks everyone. Bye, Danker. Riva Derchi. Good night. Good night.